This car right here is capable of 350 horsepower on a 1500 pound chassis. It does a top speeds of up to where it's of 120 miles an hour and 0 60 in 2.8 seconds. So I'm here at Electrify Expo with Craig Coker from Unplugged Performance and we're in his Cybertruck. The Cyber Beast. Cyber Beast. Yeah, the Cyber Beast. So Craig, uh, what brings you to Electrify Expo today and what's going on over here? Yeah, so uh, what brings me here, a couple different things. You have the Unplugged Performance Upfit full catalog Cybertruck and then you also have uh, the trailer with Dark Helmet on it, so I support that. But I'm also here with Sierra. Sierra is a single cockpit vehicle um, that's all terrain and you can drive it all over. It's electric. It's really incredible. And I've just, I've partnered with them for a little project. And right now we have my cyber truck in their booth and it's actually charging one of their vehicles. Ah, very cool. So, um, the project that I'm doing, I can't, I don't want to spoil it, but all I can say is that this is going to be a very unique project that no one has done. Mm. Um, and it is incorporating Sierra and the Cybertruck. And so that's why I'm here today to kind of just initiate that project and uh, create a little buzz around it and have some fun. If you don't know what a Sierra car is, I definitely... I gotta say, you gotta go check out their website, but it's it's so incredible and they're so fun to drive. They've got like, uh, you can have three maps uh, to have 50 horsepower to 175 horsepower to 320 horsepower, it goes to zero to 60 on under three seconds. Wow. It's crazy fast. It's crazy fast, but easy to drive. You can have your nine-year-old kid drive it, <laughs> or if you wanna get in it and rip around, you can. So and it's all terrain, terrain. Like it's it's so fun. You could go to a racetrack, you can go to the sand dunes, you can go to the beach, you can go off road in the mountains. Very so cool. I'm excited to showcase all of that content. Nice. So I got a few questions for you, Craig. Right. Um, so the new Upfit uh, police version of Cybertruck? Yeah. Uh, when's that going to be available to police departments? Mm, well, that's a question I can't really answer, but I can tell you that there is a large roadmap and there's a lot of uh, stuff under development there. Like the, the newly released that you've probably seen on the internet already, all black cyber truck. Um, it's already got some lights on it. So I, I don't know exactly when that'll be released or the actual components to it, but the other upfit products um, with their Model Y and Model 3 is already being utilized in Pasadena. Oh. Um, and it's incredible. They've got, I think like eight or 10. I was just over there and we did a whole um, production video and it was incredible. And what's so cool is how enthusiastic the whole um, department is over there. It's, nice. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be really cool. Yeah. I know you do a lot of racing. Mm -hmm. You uh, try to set some EV lap records. Um, yeah. So what are your EV lap records? Uh, I think I have about 19 different track records wow. currently um, at maybe 10 different tracks. So the reason why there's 19 of them is because some of those tracks have different configurations and also um, different vehicles and stuff. So those uh, allow a, uh, a new track record there. Oh, wow. So some of the tracks I have like three, four different records on. Oh, nice. Like you have uh, Laguna Seca, which that's world renowned. Everyone yeah. knows about that. Um, you have Willow Springs Raceway. They have different track configurations there. Um, and we just actually reset a EV record there with Grid Life about a month or so ago, and we did a sub 120 at the Big Willow uh, configuration, and that is 
I, I'm pretty proud of that one because this track's been around for a long time. It's called one of the fastest tracks in California and there's a lot of history there. Ford versus Ferrari, stuff like that. So I'm really proud of that one. I know we can go faster. That's <laughs> in my brain. It's like, cool, this is a great record. How do we go faster? <laughs> but And are, are yeah. most of these with the Plaid Model S Dark Helmet or? Yeah, so there's uh, the Dark Helmet. That's Plaid Model S tri-motor uh, with the big, huge wing, the crazy <laughs> arrow. Yeah. Um, it is part of the Apex S kit that unplug creates nice. of course this this kit is a little exaggerated in the arrow so we can create more downforce which uh equals more grip um, but they have like the same type of components that they sell to anyone else out there so that's pretty cool nice yeah and then you have the i have a model y uh record and, and button willow the model three there's um phoenix that car that went up Pikes Peak Hill Climb it had a little incident with Randy Popes yeah. and we rebuilt it and that's still in development. We're creating more stuff for it. So Very that'll cool. be, that'll come back. Yeah. Um, and then you got the new Model 3 Performance, which I'm so excited about. Oh, um, that was one of my other questions. Have you driven the new Model 3 Performance? I was just over at Tesla's booth. <laughs> the <laughs> first you. time I ever got in the car. <laughs> um, I was impressed with the things that they've already put in it and uh unplug just uh purchased two brand new performance i saw that variations. a red one and a black one right yeah <laughs> so they're already they got the first day actually from delivery right outside of the delivery they put their wheels <laughs> on the on street it. Right? <laughs> uh, that's how enthusiastic we are about getting th this car that's cool and so we've got a great uh plan for that to showcase people what you can do with that vehicle and i'm so excited about that development because um i think that tesla has put something in this vehicle that they're not really telling people they're just mm. uh, they're letting people figure it out from them for themselves <laughs> um and you're already seeing that you know one thing that tesla does is they say okay the car can do zero to 60 in this and this amount of time and usually people beat that time mm. all the time usually it's like 0.1 or two seconds faster than that yeah it's pretty incredible so that's really cool and i and i'm pretty sure that they're they've done that with the new performance sometimes variation. they have little surprises they show later <laughs> right yeah you never know there could be some unlocked features or something yeah, yeah. very cool uh what's your favorite ev Oh, I mean, besides the Cybertruck, of course. <laughs> I, I am finding a whole new love for uh, EV trucks. Um, huh? My history, I've, I've, I grew up in the mountains, so I've always been around trucks and stuff. Huh? And I've never really used an EV truck until uh, recently purchasing this, and I'm so excited about it because I had an Avalanche, a oh. Chevy Avalanche. Yeah. And it's actually very similar to this, aside from a mid-gate. Yeah. Um, and so getting back in this kind of reacquainted me to that, that feeling that I had with, a, with um, that vehicle. So the Cybertruck for sure, uh, you know, the Model S Plaid has been also so fun because it's, it's much more roomy. Yeah. Um, I've had my family in it and we've gone on road trips and it's great. The Model 3 is great to just zip around if it's you. Yeah. Just you doing business stuff. So yeah. it's so hard to figure out what I like more. Obviously, I'm a little biased here being a Tesla guy. Yeah. But yeah, there's um, so many good EVs now. Well, you know, I was just, I was just did a test drive with the Mach-E and I was really impressed with what they've done with it. You know, I'm definitely not the type that is uh, a guy that's against all all the EVs and I'm only for Tesla. Yeah. And in fact, I'm the exact opposite. I want to promote and share and tell everyone all these different flavors. Cause at the end of the day, like we need to have flavors to accommodate everyone. Not everyone's the same. Yeah. And so uh, I love it and it's, it's just growing um, and I can't wait to just see more of the vehicles and the interest. Yeah. It's really cool. Very cool. What's your favorite gas car? <laughs> if you have okay. a favorite. 
this is this may throw you off a little bit, but my favorite gas car is a 1989 Toyota 4Runner. Wow. So the reason why is because that was my first car. Oh, my gotcha. dad handed it down to me. And that's where I started all of my adventures of life and, and careers and everything. And I still have that vehicle. Really? I still have it. I, I stored it and now I'm about to restore it. Very cool. I'm about to make it all original, but add electrification. Those have kind of become so, classic anyway, right? <laughs> they're very classic. I mean, they're well over 20, I think 25. I, do, I can't do math, but <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's my favorite only because I have this history of experience and yeah. emotions in it. Nice. Yeah. All right, um, well, I'm here. Anything else you want to uh, <laughs> share with the viewers? Uh, yeah, check me out at From Where I Charge um, on Instagram, X, from where I charge .com. Uh, I love just sharing my experience with EVs. That's what I'm hyper focused on. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Thanks Definitely. for the interview, Chris. Yeah, and, love the uh, content. Yeah. We're here at the Sierra booth, and I'm here with Chandler. Howdy. From Sierra. Yep. And he's going to talk with us about what this vehicle is. I, I believe it's an all terrain, all electric vehicle. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's very unique and very different, and that's 100% intentional. We're trying to come after the motorsports industry with a completely different perspective. So we make high performance vehicles at an affordable price, and we call it affordable performance. And uh, the idea is that it's mixed terrain mastery. We've custom developed this shock with Fox's engineers, and we can go within the switch of three clicks between a full asphalt car with slicks to like a rally setup to like jumping 150 feet, which we were just doing two days ago. And so with this concept, we can go from asphalt to rally to ice to even the sand dunes, which is what's being kind of showcased here. And uh, it's very, very exciting. It's a driver-centric design. It's capable of 350 horsepower on a 1,500-pound chassis, which is the same power-to-weight ratio as a Porsche GT3 RS. So it's a very wild, capable machine. And our goal is to obviously get this into people's hands who are enthusiasts about motorsports. But as well, we want to provide experiences to fleets. So sell these to people like Speed Vegas so they can come and do arrive and drive experiences and uh, just kind of let everybody experience what a motor car is. So this car right here is capable of 350 horsepower on a 1500 pound chassis. It does a top speeds of up to words of 120 miles an hour and 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. Wow. And so it's a very, very capable machine. But what's even more exciting is our saying is driving progression. So we want to drive progression of the sport, drive progression of the car, and drive progression of the driver. So we have different power modes. We can go from 30 horsepower to 120 horsepower to 320 horsepower. And with having such a low center of gravity, it's for anybody. You know, Susie from accounting to Mario Andretti can get in the same machine and have a very capable machine that, that will be difficult to outperform. Really, I'm very excited about this product. It really, to me, is revolutionary. I've been in the motorsport industry my whole life. I used to build custom side-by-sides. I grew up in action sports. And uh, when I found out what Sierra was doing, I saw it as completely um, revolutionary in what the world of motorsport needs. Um, it's, it's just insane. It's like the real life version of an RC car and yeah. it makes me so excited. Nice. All right, very cool. Thanks for your time. Yeah, it was great meeting you. Right. Okay, looks good. All right, so I'm here at, where are we? <laughs> Sorry.